four five, the team, your home for New York sports. We are now joined by a uh, co-host of the Upstate Sports Edge on the CW tonight. Uh, Brittany Devane joins us now. Brittany, I know that you're a you're a diehard hockey fan. Like you, you put me to shame. Um, <laughs> You're going to Union. This Union team, they, they've just bounced uh, up the national rankings a little bit. How good are they? Is this, is this a team where we can start to kind of hope that they're going to be in the Frozen Four? I absolutely think they have the ability to be in the Frozen Four. The win, um, the loss, excuse me, over to Boston University was a little troubling because BU was so depleted. And now, but you see BU is up to number one. So, I'm not as concerned about that anymore. They do need to figure out a couple more things to be able to take home another national title. But I think this team, when you watch them play, Mike Vacchione is the best player on the ice. It's amazing. He's playing another level of hockey, and I think that he's playing good enough to carry the rest of the team. And, of course, Alex Kellaropoulos lights out a net most of the time. So they have all the pieces, and really just they've stayed healthy so far as long as they continue to do that. That top line is pretty unstoppable. We haven't had a chance to speak with you since the Mayor's Cup back on Thursday. It was Union versus RPI. No brawls as crazy as it was before, but it did it live up to the hype? Was it as excited as we had hoped for? It was more than I could have hoped for. This actually was the first Mayor's Cup I've had the opportunity to cover. I've heard all the stories. I've seen, obviously, all the video, including that fight video. But I can't imagine being at a better hockey game than I saw last week. Just the team's... They just played at their best level, both sides, and I think that's because the competition and the rivalry just brought out the best in them, and if you weren't at that game, you were missing out. It was just great hockey, high-emotion hockey, highly skilled hockey, and like I said, they just bring out the best in each other. So if you didn't get a chance to go this year, mark it on your calendar for next year. It's one of the best events in the Capital Region, not just sports, but one of the best. Brittany Devane with us right now, uh, Upstate Sports Edge. Now, uh, we're getting a little local love. So one of my favorite things, though, even though it is, like, I know you love hockey, my favorite thing is watching you stand next to basketball players. <laughs> because... Oh, my gosh. You had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> because, well, well, you're, uh, what, vertically challenged. And, and yeah. you know, they're, they're like, you know, almost seven-footers, and it always cracks me up when you take a picture next to one. But you also get the scoop for us. Big games coming up for both the local teams, you Albany and Sienna. We're actually going to be at this Sienna game. But uh, what are you looking forward to this week? I You know what? I'm looking forward to um, just both of these teams are really starting to kind of pick up the momentum. You saw both of them had a really uh, troubling start, Sienna, to the – year they really couldn't get things going and then you Albany 0-3 to start the conference that I think came as a surprise to anyone but these two teams I think then were playing with a little bit of anger and playing with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder and so I don't know there's nothing really better than sports uh, than athletes playing angry I think that um, always makes for a good game so I believe I'll be at the Albany game tomorrow night and just um, you know when they are at their best they're just dominant in the conference and I think they're getting pretty close to being back there and also you saw obviously an amazing performance out of Brett Bisping uh, against um, Manhattan last time out and so I think that those you know you, you think you would think that the seniors uh, would kind of come out with that chemistry and I think just now they're starting to find it and it's really fun to watch that is a crazy talented team and all the hype about them at the beginning of the year it would be really nice to see them maybe take one more step to get to that level where, you know, they are challenging Monmouth for that uh, MAC championship. Last week we didn't get a chance to bump into you because you were out shooting the Sienna Ryder game, and I want to compliment you for the speed you showed on the court (laughs) where Coach (laughs) Patsos, of course I saw it. I saw you sneaking in there and showing off the speed for the invisible handshake. And Levac and I have said it feels like that moment has almost served as a a spark for the Sienna team because they've won five of their last six games. Did it feel that same way to you? Yes. The team, like I mentioned, you thought you were maybe going to see that chemistry at the beginning of the year, but when they're in a brawl standing up for each other, I think that they were able, you know, it's right there in front of you. They're they're standing up for each other. They're taking punches for each other. Uh, You know, it was Javion who got the hard foul, but Marquise came flying in. I think it might serve as a good, um, you know, motivation to play for each other and to, so some of that anger I was talking about. It was such a cool moment. And it's one of those things where, guys, our job is so cool. You never know when you show up to a game what's going to happen. And it could be one of the most talked about events 
of the entire week, and that's what happened in that Siena game. And of course, there I am, just booking it across the field, <laughs> chase, uh, uh, across the court, chasing after Jimmy Patsos. It was a really cool moment, and I do think that uh, you know, if all goes well, we can look back towards maybe that brawl and that fight as something that has provided a spark for the rest of the way. It is. I love to give you a hard time, but you are an absolute bulldog when it comes to getting the story. Like, <laughs> like I, how many times have I seen you at the Shakers games, and you're just like, she'll hold in there, guys, for the shot, even when it's coming when the play is coming at her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, I got some great advice one time from an old photographer of mine. He said, "Brittany, your body will heal, but the camera will not." So you know, just I'm fine with that. Sacrificing my body for the shot. Uh, I took a hard shot at the Albany football game earlier this year, but so far the equipment has held up, and you know I'm I'm ready to go. Uh, tonight, uh, Upstate Sports Edge Gaz is going to join you. Uh, I have uh, I have family duties to uh, to attend to, so uh, I hope you guys have a great time. Uh, Ten thirty on the CW. Well, thank you guys so much for having me on. I look forward to seeing you tonight, Gaz. I will look forward to it. Thank you, Brittany. She prefers you over me. I know it's true. <laughs> I know it's true. <laughs> That's our little secret. <laughs>